Hey guys, welcome back to MarkDillon.XXX, which is soon to be MarkDillon.com. I'm excited for you guys to get to see that. That should be done in probably the next two weeks, so hopefully around the uh, 1st of March it'll be up and going. And one thing I really want to take the time to uh, thank all of you for is helping make the launch of my new lube, Slick Muscle, uh, very successful. I, I really appreciate that. So again, Slick Muscle. Um, and uh, if, if you get the chance to try it out, I would really appreciate you letting me know how you like it. Uh, hopefully we'll have it in some, uh, in some stores in cities like uh, San Francisco and West Hollywood and uh, maybe New York. I'm, I'm off to New York for two months starting in March. Um, not just for the lube thing, but I have some really cool projects in the works that uh, I'll be excited to get to tell you about as they, uh, as they get closer to to coming coming together and finishing up but uh, anywho so tonight's question is from Carmen who I've been emailing with uh, privately uh, talking about his coming out but I actually think this part of his question makes a good topic for discussion because some of you may be going through it or know someone who's going through a similar situation he says mark I wasn't planning on coming out anytime soon but my boyfriend wants to come up from Texas and stay with me he doesn't want me to stay closeted. He said the only way he'll come visit me is if I tell my family so we can be ourselves. Is this fair? Should I tell my family? All right, Carmen. Uh, first of all, there's kind of a two-part answer to this. Uh, to a certain extent, I can see how that is fair to him because basically because you're because you're closeted and you're not you're not coming out to your family, he has to pretend to be something that he's not to keep to keep you in the closet. So I see how it is uh, certainly on his part, uh, kind of, you know, it's, it's being disingenuous to himself and that's why he wants you to do it. Now, conversely, I think it's a bit unfair for you to be pressured into making such a big decision when you're not ready to. Um, I, I really think that these are, Coming out is such a big deal in a person's life, particularly if you're in a family where you, you, you don't think it's likely to be uh, accepted well. Uh, if you expect a difficult coming out or, or even some, you know, a really bad outcome, you know, if, if you're worried your family is going to throw you out uh, or stop talking to you, disown you, that kind of a thing, I don't know what your situation is. So I certainly don't think that it's a good idea to be pressured into that by, by an ultimatum from somebody else. Uh, I think you want you want to come out first of all when when internally you are comfortable with the idea of going to your family and saying this is who I am you know this this is me and uh, you you have to be comfortable with that first and foremost the second stage is you have to decide if you're in a position that you can uh, deal with whatever consequences are coming about from that you know you guys sound like you're probably a young couple so I don't know if you're if you're living with your family or, or, or what the deal is, but if you come out and they have a terrible reaction, you need a game plan for how you're going to do that. You certainly don't want to just wing it and, and, and hope you'll find a place to live or somebody to continue paying for your schooling or whatever it is. So this is such a big decision. I don't think you should be pressured into it on the fly. Uh, I also think that in general, it's probably a bad idea to make any major life decision based on uh, you know, pressure from someone else. You have to really be comfortable with it. Now, uh, in his defense, I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect him to continue dating you without some kind of uh, idea of, of when this is going to happen. Now, you said at the beginning of your email you're not planning on coming out anytime soon. Well, he, he really needs to know that. Um, you, you shouldn't you, you should make sure he understands that you're still really struggling with this idea and that it's not going to happen tomorrow it's not going to happen next week and you have to see what kind of time frame he's comfortable with and, and kind of discuss how you're going to move this along and and what stages it's going to happen and it's okay to say look i really don't know when i'll be comfortable enough to do it but he has to he has to understand that because it's not fair for him to, to be, you know, putting his, his emotional energy into a relationship that may not be what's right for him. So, 
you want you certainly want to be uh, fair and, um, and and honest and open with him about that. Now, um, I, I don't I, I don't really like the idea of him saying he's not going to come see you if you tell if you unless you tell your family. That's that's a bit of a strong ultimatum. But um, uh, what I would do is I would explain to him just how tough this is for you. Uh, explain to him some of the reasons why you're not comfortable with it yet. Other, it's not it's not enough to just say, oh, I don't want to tell them. You really need to uh, talk to him. Let him know why this is a big deal for you. So maybe he can uh, he can kind of see your side of it. Um, and another thing that I, I would do is I would explain to him that it would mean it would mean a lot to you to have his have his support and to help you get through this period um, and that kind of a thing. Now, just a side note, you know, that's that's my advice about the relationship part of it and him pressuring you. But just a side thing that I want you to keep in mind is uh, I do want you to come out only when you're comfortable. But make sure you're not kind of, um, that, that you're not stuck in this kind of a, a, a delusional belief that your coming out will be a lot worse than it is. Sometimes the, the, the fear of coming out can create this uh, self-fulfilling kind of, perpetual uh, cycle of, oh my God, I can't come out, I can't let anybody find out. Now, there's certainly legitimate reasons for being concerned about coming out, but make sure you're, you stop and, and you think about those and say, am I really, am I being, am I overreacting about how bad the consequences could be of, of coming out? You know, you, you may not be giving your family all the credit they deserve. Maybe, maybe they're they are likely to accept. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know you, and I don't know your family. So uh, I really want you to stop and think about that, um, and then go with your gut feeling. All right, Carmen. I hope this helps you. Uh, the rest of you guys, if you have any questions, feel free to email me through my site. And again, thank you very much for the success of the launch of my new loop. So thanks a lot. You guys have a great night.